Welcome to Free Media, I'm Robbie Suave. And I'm Amber Duke. Is America falling in love with Kamala Harris? The View certainly thinks so. Let's watch. I think that this Vice President Kamala momentum is very real. Mm -hmm. All weekend, anywhere I went with different groups of friends, they want to hear more about her. They're mm -hmm. falling. I had friends call into these um, phone calls that she's yeah. doing that aren't registered Democrats. Yeah. Some of them are actually they're Republicans. Interested. They're yes. curious. And it was interesting. I got on one of them, and I'm, they didn't cut me off. They let me be on the yeah. line. And it was talking about character, what our daughters are going to see, and what people yeah. want to see in their president. Yeah. So my this race, you said it very well. This is going to be tight. Even if we feel like it's yep. different in the energy shifted. Mm -hmm. What I would hope the vice president's team would keep doing is it's okay to admit if something you stated in the past is not your position now because for four years she's been the vice president for all Americans. Oh boy, so I think she's referring to that white woman for Kamala call. Were, were you on the call, Amber, <laughs> as a, not to assume your race <laughs> you know, or gender, but you are a white so woman. So I wanted to join actually, but I am blocked on social media oh no. by the organizer of the call. So I wasn't I quite sure. That. So strange, I wasn't quite sure so how to strange. get involved. But uh, but yes, apparently there are all kinds of racial coalitions for Kamala that are popping up now. There's so a, a white man call as well, because they're really combating the claims that she's a DEI vice president. Um, by just being very racially divisive. It's but so weird. It is, it, you're right, it is really weird. Um, I saw uh, a tweet from um, the former white nationalist leader, Richard Spencer, saying that the Democrats are really his party now because they're the ones who want to do group-based things for white people. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, well, and I think he did endorse Joe Biden yeah. the last time around, but of course, this is the honeymoon phase with Kamala. Everyone's excited on the Democratic side because they don't have to vote for a corpse anymore. Look, I'd be thrilled too if I had received an upgrade for from someone who is not fit to be president now to someone who can read a teleprompter. That's uh, a positive development for them. Yeah, it, it's it's hard to tell because the media is working so hard to make Kamala popular and a pop culture icon that all the kids think is great. And I'm so distrustful of that. Um, but yes, she is. It's impossible to deny that she's a more exciting candidate from, in a totally ideologically neutral way because the other person was not capable of campaigning at all, of stringing a sentence together. And I think she will mount a more robust challenge to Donald Trump. Alyssa's right, it will end up being a close election. It was a close election the last two times. Nobody should be resting on their laurels if they wanna win. And she does, you know, she's lucky because she's totally sidestepped the primary process this time around. Right. So she didn't have to commit herself this time to all sorts of deeply unpopular leftist policies. You have to go, you know, looking back to 2020 to to bring those up again. She She's benefited this little stump they did where they swapped out their nominee at the last minute, I think actually has benefited her. Yeah, I mean, she doesn't, <laughs> she didn't have to debate uh, people no. who would either push her from a more centrist or a more progressive position, like happened in the 2020 Democratic primary debates. Um, but she still has to answer for her past policy positions, as well as the record of the Biden administration. She's going to have to explain why she supposedly supports fracking now, even though she was quite clear that she wanted to ban it four yeah. years ago. She's going to have to explain if she still wants to give free health care to illegal immigrants, if she wants to decriminalize illegal immigration, if she wants to dismantle ICE and still thinks that ICE is comparable to the KKK, if she still wants to implement electric vehicle mandates and other green energy policies that would vastly increase yeah, the cost of those energy. Po I think she's going to be very vulnerable on those policies specifically because Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin are, are must-win states. It's why I think she will end up picking a VP. Uh, she will not pick Mayor Pete because he's within the administration and is responsible for some of the you know electric vehicle related policy. Um, I think she'd be well served, frankly, picking Josh Shapiro, who's the governor of that state and is much more, or perceived at least, as much more moderate on those issues specifically, and has also fought with the left, which is always fun. Like, don't go after the left vote. No one, <laughs> that's like six people that you can't make happy is what I've decided. Yeah, I can't wait though if she does pick him to see the infighting on the Palestine issue. Yeah. Um, because Cause they've said he's not acceptable, like, because he's 
Jewish. <laughs> right. Well, precisely. It's basically what they're um, saying. <laughs> but I do think, you know, give it a couple of weeks. She's going to have to speak off the cuff. She's not going to have a teleprompter. She's going to eventually have to do some kind of media interview that is unscripted. Um, this is where she tends to perform very poorly. And she has all of the baggage of the Biden administration's policies without, I think, any of the benefit that Joe Biden had in 2020, which is the sort of return to normalcy candidate. Um, it's been three and a half years of yeah. chaos. And she was part of the administration that was responsible for that. Biden does have a track record of winning elections, whereas she does not outside of very liberal California. Indeed. So we'll see. I think it's more of a gamble than maybe they were counting on. Thanks for watching Free Media. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.